Hello guys and welcome back. Let's talk about the weekly watch list and what to expect this week completely in depth and I want to be starting off with the economic calendar and overall as you guys can see you know we have a pretty nice watch list going on and we have a lot of nice play like this Qualcomm play that I will be talking about in this video. Now, this is going to be a very, very in-depth video, so make sure to, you know, leave a like and let me know in the comments your thoughts. And I will be uh, bookmarking this where you guys can actually skip ahead uh, in the description. You guys can actually skip ahead to the favorite setup. Now, I will be going a lot in this week what to actually expect going into this full week. And I would love, I always start off with investing.com slash economic calendar make sure to you know start this website and this is going to be a very very tough week now even though we have some great setups i will not be trading this week and i have my reasons that i want to go over on tuesday we have Ch fed chair powell um testifying so again we have uncertainty the reason we have uncertainty is because again you know we had a pretty nice drop on the market because the government is not buying up stocks right now okay they're not they're tapering the markets right now not only are they tapering but they're also selling off their purchases and they're buying up bonds so that you know was very very bearish news going into um you know this week and taking a look even at spy we definitely do have a lot more room to drop and a lot of this news is bearish okay we also have interest rates, which I will be going over in a second. And then overall, we have CPI, which tracks inflation. And then we have initial jobless claims and then PPI. So definitely a lot of stuff going on. I will be taking this whole week off. I'll be just watching um, the market. Now, we also have a lot of earnings, uh, which I want to go over. So if I actually go over here. We do have a lot of earnings um, going over here for banks. So if you guys actually scroll down over here, you know, we have earnings for JP Morgan, Wells Fargo, Citigroup on Friday. Now, I will also be going over that, but I actually want to start off with earnings for banks. Now, you know, starting off with, for example, Wells Fargo, it had a great breakout. I made a whole video on this and I actually paper handed my calls. But a lot of these banks are at all-time highs and are about to get earnings. The reason these banks are actually flying off is because the government is raising interest rates. While tech and everything else is dying off, banks are going to be having a great year because, again, we're trying to get back to normal. And banks are going to be benefiting off of those interest rates because those are the ones, you know, banks are the ones selling those loans. So banks are going to be having a great year. And this is definitely going to be a very, very interesting year for banks. We can already see at, for example, Bank of America. You know, we're forming a very, very nice channel on for Bank of America. So we can definitely see a very, very nice bull run for banks. And this is going to be a very, very nice year for banks, which I might make a whole video on later in this video. Now, overall, that is all for for the calendar as well as the economic calendar i want to go over the stocks that i'm watching uh the first one is going to be spy taking a look at spy we definitely do have a lot um, more room to drop and again you know spy has banks in it so that is why it didn't have a you know like a you know it didn't ran down as much as qqq did so you know spy was down two percent the q's down over five percent now, taking a look at SPY, if we actually zoom out a little bit on TradingView, we have this arrow tool. And what we can basically see is we can see a very, very nice support going down for SPY. And if we actually kind of zoom this out right over here, we have a very, very nice support around that area for SPY. So if we actually bring this down over here, we have a nice support around 460, which is going to be a mental, mental number. This is the support of the ascending triangle over here. So as you guys can see, you know, we have a support coming down in for SPY. So SPY definitely does have um, that room to drop. 
And this is going to be a major, major level to watch for Spy. The next one is going to be QQQ. Again, we have talked about QQQ and it is at a major, major level of support. Now, you know, what exactly is QQQ? If we actually take a look at the top holdings, for example, like Apple, Apple definitely has more room to drop around 167. If we take a look at, for example, Amazon, Amazon definitely has more room to drop around 3,100 demand zone. And if we take a look at Tesla, we definitely do have a lot more room to drop. So overall, QQQ is looking also bearish with all of these other stocks looking bearish. So definitely will be a interesting week for QQQ. Like I just don't know the next support after this. Probably around 367 is the next support around for QQQ. So definitely it will be a very, very interesting week. And that is why I am taking this week off with a lot of uncertainty. So that is it for QQQ. The first actual play that I'm actually watching is Qualcomm. And Qualcomm is setting up for a ascending triangle breakout. Taking a look at over here. We will have our stop loss around 178 area. The stop loss is going to be the close of the area. Now, again, we have to wait for it to get tighter and tighter. The every day it passes by, it gets tighter and tighter. I like to compare this play with CrowdStrike. We had a very, very nice ascending triangle. But, you know, we were waiting, we were waiting, and it just closed below and it invalidated. So for Qualcomm... I'm watching it, you know, until probably January 14th of next week for it to trade sideways and to get in around at the support. You guys can already buy in shares around at this level, but it's very, very important that the stop loss is going to be the close below on the daily time frame. The next one is going to be PayPal. PayPal is setting up for a very, very nice symmetrical triangle. Now, this is actually very, very interesting because... You know, the past couple months around, you know, August, PayPal is having, uh, you know, a very, very rough um, moment. And, you know, we can see that PayPal is down over is down over 41 percent from all time highs. And taking a look at PayPal, it's trying to break this downtrend breakout off of this symmetrical triangle. Taking a look closer, whichever side it breaks out, we do have price targets. So if we do break it to the downside, we have 181. And then if we break it to the upside, we have 201, which is also a may, uh, very, very nice mental support. So definitely PayPal is also on my watch for this week. And this will be breaking out this week because, you know, if we can see around three days, it should be able to break out and decide where it wants to break out. The next one is going to be NVIDIA. NVIDIA setup looks very, very nice with a descending triangle. It is at a major, major level of 272 and is also setting up for a nice, uh, nice play. You know, we just need it to trade sideways and it is setting up for, for a very, very nice play. I'm taking a look Um calls above 300 downtrend breakout and it puts below this level and overall we do have a gap down below to fill if we do break this um, over here if we actually uh, zoom in you know we can put in a horizontal line and we actually have a gap down below around 266.71 so if it does break that level puts to the downside to fill this gap looks very, very nice for a puts play. The next one is going to be AMD with a similar similar setup with NVIDIA. You know, pretty much the same thing. And I'm noticing, you know, we have AMD, NVIDIA, Qualcomm. All of them are semiconductors. And with the chip storage going on, it is going to be very, very important to also watch the news with these tickers. Uh, the next one is Apple. Just, you know, again, simple... It is just looking to test the support, and really that is all. The next one is Square. Another, you know, rough beating on Square. Now, things get interesting when we actually zoom out because it is actually about to hit a major, major level of support. So around 134.41 looks like a great time to buy in shares. Stop loss 
you know, closed below the support. So Square is looking very, very nice actually right over here. And overall, you know, Square has been having a rough, you know, couple of months down over 52% from all time highs. So I would set a alert over here. I already have a alert set on Square to buy some potential shares over here. The next one is going to be coin a Bitcoin play. Taking a look at Coinbase, it is consolidating very, very nicely. We have a nice demand zone over here, and then we have a resistance for coin. And overall, what I'm taking a look is a puts play if we do break this level around 221. Now, what I'm watching specifically is a close below the support on the daily time frame because this is a major support, and I do think if it breaks that support, a lot of stop losses will be getting triggered. And overall, I'm seeing, you know, huge downside potential for Coinbase if we do break this 2D downside and if we do close below the daily support. So I would set a alert at the level of the breakout and I would set a alert when it hits the low, the all time low for a put play. And this looks really, really nice for puts. But again, you have to watch a Bitcoin because it is currently sitting at a support level um, with a head and shoulder. So things are getting very, very interesting for both Bitcoin and Coinbase. And overall, that is all. Very, very simple video. Definitely a lot of setups. The main setups that I'm watching is going to be Qualcomm because this setup looks very, very nice. And then I'll be watching uh, NVIDIA as well as Coins. So overall, all of these tickers are looking very, very nice. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Very, very simple video. Make sure to leave a like. Comment down below your favorite you know, ticker and what you are watching for this week. And overall, subscribe with the notifications all. Um, we'll be posting a video tomorrow. And overall, see you guys.